Hey guys, you're watching because you want to know me. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build an Engine. Today, we're going to be building upon this block here and adding the sections that come off it for future pieces. So, I've got a couple of pretty decent reference pictures that might be able to help me a little bit more than they did last episode because I've got a section here that's going to come out. I don't know what they are. I'm just literally building the parts. We'll figure out where, what bits go where later uh, but this is going to come out like that and we're going to build this section out that's going to be the hole and then the part that comes out around it is going to be I could probably make that I want to do this up by one like that excellent uh huh two three that one that one and that one so that's the part that comes off here and then there's a couple of bolts. What should we use for bolts now that we're getting there? Look, we'll use brown. Um, how am I going to get that? Because I need an actual bolt to be in there. If I don't like, no. Uh, I need it really to be there, but that's going to look too chunky, isn't it? Is it going to look too chunky? Not if we made this a bit bigger as well. That one. Whoops. And there so that's going to be a bolt that comes out there and out there and that's going to connect onto something at some point but i don't know what and i don't know when but it needs to come up further that's for sure i'm gonna add another one uh like that yeah so we're gonna add this around the edge so we've actually got bolts like ready to be screwed up uh, onto the nuts later on. So we've got that bit that goes in there. And then I've got one that comes down. It's sort of joined up. It starts about oops, about there. And this is a circle. Well, it's not a very big circle, so we're going to do it a 2x2 two two hole. Like that. And that's way too far away. I'm sure it's way too far away. I think I need to do it much closer like that. Yeah, that's... That looks a lot better. Maybe maybe one more this way. I can't make up my mind. But you need to get this right. Because if we don't get this right, it's going to cause so much hassle later on. But this is going to come down and join up just straight into the body here. Somewhere around here. So we'll just do it to there. Like that comes down there comes down here I'm pretty sure this is where your ignition goes on to it seems to be about right uh, down there and down there and that one that one and that one that seems to be where where your ignition that would make sense to me that your ignition would go on to there and then we've got, I think, where is either, I think it's the oil filter that goes on the bottom here. And this is silver, so we're going to be using more wool. But we might be using both tones. We might be using the light grey and the dark grey to get a little bit of worn or a little bit of difference on there. Yeah, we are on the right side. Whew, I thought for a minute we'd built it on the wrong side or something. So, uh, we start off with a flat bottom. You can go up something like this. Something like that. We'll just build it in a basic shape first. And then we can always tweak it afterwards. So we're going to have about three blocks. Three blocks for a reason. So then we get a middle point. Fill this in here. So this is this is all still what you start with on my summer car. It's not like we've, we're already putting pieces on yet. This is just still building the original block. So we have that there. We then have uh, changed that one out. And I think I'm going to leave that one there. Maybe put those two in. That one. We good? Yeah, we're good. We're fine. And then out of the top of here, I'm going to go with a darker color. Have I got a slightly darker one? I might have to go with black. 
So this is where your oil filter screws onto. So that screws onto there. That's too big. Much better. Okay. So that's where the oil filter is going to go. Oh, this is looking so cool. <laughs> uh, can we add a little bit more detail in this? Yes, there's some bolts that are screwed on. So we'll just put a bolt in there. Do I want them to hang over the edge a little bit? Maybe. That could be cool. So a couple of bolts like that. And then I'll just add a little bit of detail. Just those three, I think. On like that. Just so it's not all playing in the same shape. But again, as more bits go on, we'll be able to refine it a little bit more. Tune the shape up. Maybe like take these two out. And that one out. Like how I'm doing now. <laughs> <laughs> doing it a bit early but already that, that's looks like a much more better shape it's a little bit rounded on the corners then okay i'm happy with that also on this side we're going to add a little oh i forgot a block look at that uh we're going to add a little bit of a lip here so this is going to come out just like that just it's just a little section really it's nothing too crazy there and there And then it goes back out wider down here. So we want to just bring this straight down. And then it just sort of goes a little bit bigger. Maybe a bit bigger than that. There. There. And there. Okay. Down this side. I want to get the crankshaft in today. As well as hopefully it would be nice if we could get the pistons in as well. There's a lot of work to do, but hopefully we can do it. All right, so there's some more detail on the engine now. There will be more, um, but as we get to different screenshots where I can see them a little bit easier. I know there is some on the other side. As we get to more screenshots, I'll be able to see more of them. But I can't get like a screenshot that sees every side, obviously. That would be impossible, although useful. So down this side, I did find a screenshot that has... Let's just do a line that runs all the way across first. And then it has a couple of circles. I don't think the circles do anything. I think they're literally just there for design. Oh, further. Maybe they're there for sizings or something like that. But on the third piston, which we know is here because we've marked them out, uh, we're going to have... Probably just that would do. One there. And then there's a smaller one right here. Like that. It's not in line. It's just down a little bit. And then off here also, there's a, cup, there's a couple of bits that we need to do on this side. There's this one down here, which is like a little connection. We're still keeping with the blue. So it's like that. And bring this along a little. Maybe I should do a different blue though for this because that stands out a little bit. It blends in too much. Uh, blue. Maybe I could use the lighter blue instead. Looks a little bit wow at the minute. But once we get more of the engine on, I think it'll start to blend in a little bit more. Because at the moment, this is standing out a bit a bit too much, isn't it? Okay. And off here as well. So this is obviously some sort of connection uh, that joins up onto them. But that'll do for the minute. We'll put a couple of bolts in. Like that. So that's screwed on. Uh, and then I've got a cylinder above it uh, that has a cylinder then coming out of it as well. So we're going to do... It's too small. That's a bit better. So this comes up all the way to about, let's let's get the height of it. It comes nearly to the top. So we're gonna go up to here, up to there. I'm gonna leave the middle empty because I think this it's got a valve on it or something. So this would do something. See, some of the parts in my summer car aren't, aren't even used. They're just there, but the game hasn't had or got what you'd actually use it for implemented into it. 
So some of it we're just going to have to sort of guess with or make up our own reasons as to why it's there. Unless you guys can let me know why something is there. Okay, so it's like a T part. It's like a T in there. And then underneath this, we'll just join this in. Like that. I like that. That's perfect. It's also capped off with an orange. Orange. Uh, we'll use this one. It's a little bit of a different texture. So it's capped off like that. I don't know if it's always capped off or if they've just got like a bung in it for the minute or something like that. And then we've got one more square. Which is quite a chunky one. It's about there to there. Maybe not that big. Maybe there to there. And this comes out like that. And the same, it starts to sort of finish a little bit up the curve. Like that. And it's solid on the top, and it's solid on the bottom, and it's solid on the sides. So it looks like to me it's just a bracket for something. So we have those like that here. But then we do have uh, a little spindle thing that comes out of it. Uh -huh. And then it comes out like this. It comes out at a little bit of an angle. So I'm going to do two blocks. And then I'm going to bring it out here. And I think this has got a hole in it as well, from the looks of it. So we're going to do a hole like that. And we're going to leave it as a hole for the minute. Okay, don't know what it goes to. I don't know if I've got it a little bit too big or a little bit too small. That's too high, that's for sure. I can trim this off. And fill that in. It just looked wrong straight away. I think I've got the um, part that comes out of it as well. I think that's too long. I might... Just chop that down a little bit and have the hole. Let's just move it down by one for the minute because it's easy. Already that looks a lot better. All right, so there is our block with more detail on it now. We've definitely got more stuff to look at. How cool does it look like? There's a huge difference when we turn the shaders on. You can see down the pistons a lot easier. Looks really, really cool, right? Oops, wrong one. So... Now we've got the crankshaft that goes in through here and I expect out the other side. Uh, the way that we're going to do this is I'm going to build a little piece of it and then we'll build off it. Uh, and then we'll sort of copy and paste it as we go along. Oh, zombie spawning in here? I've got it on peaceful. Um, they're not that difficulty... I haven't logged out of the world, and yet we've got... I, I, I made it... Pe I'm sure I made it... Pe maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't make it peaceful. Okay, uh, we want this to go a little bit further on this side too. So this joins up to the... Drive shaft. <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine at the minute, guys. I wish I knew more. I know I'm going to have some people that like know, really, really know their stuff in the comments section. Please feel free to tell me how wrong I've done things. I don't mind. You won't hurt my feelings. Yes, you will. No, you won't. Um, <laughs> I'll just try my best. Right. Copy. Paste. 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 Uh, I can't remember where I had point one and two so I'm just gonna have to do it again point one point two I even get my tongue sticking out and everything sometimes copy paste I might have to trim some off the bottom of the stroke here ah no yeah no we'll keep going there I'm gonna have to change this but I think it's gonna be better for us to change it towards the end so we'll just have that there i know it's going to poke out probably a little bit too far but that's fine filling those last little parts so the crankshaft 
is a funny shape. It's not dead straight. Although we've built it dead straight, it's not dead straight. It goes up on this piston, or on number one and number three, and it's down on number two and number four. So maybe it would be a good idea to make that a little bit smaller. No, we sh Yeah, I need to make that smaller. Undo five. Undo five. Um, yeah, it needs to be smaller. We, we can't do the up and down. I forgot about that. That's like the, the, the whole point of the crankshaft. And uh, I forgot that it goes up and down. I just sort of use it to fill the space. Weather clear. So we'll just take this out here. And we'll make the initial hole smaller. So we'll have it. See, that would be a 3x3 three three there. A 3x3 three three could be good, but I might be still too big. I think we're going to go with... I'm going to bring this down by another one. And we're going to have it be... That. And then I hopefully won't need to take too much of the stroke off then. So yeah, another one on there. Okay. I don't know what the easiest way to do this is. It's probably easier and quicker just to build straight along, but I'm just going to build a little bit of it and then copy and paste. Uh, that one. That one. Okay, we'll try again. Uh, and I'm going to do it in a straight line again. I know I shouldn't, but it's just going to... You, you'll see why in a minute. I'll move it up by hand. Paste. Where we need to. So two of them are in the opposite, are above this, and two parts are below this section. So how about there, 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 and there? Just poke it out by a couple of blocks on this side. So that's the level that it should be, and then let's. It's probably easy just to cut it, isn't it? Pause one and pause two. Cut, go, paste. It's not going to be that far off. That's probably pretty good. So let's go to this one then. I can't remember where it is, so we're probably going to get this wrong, but we'll paste it again. Okay, undo, paste, and right spot, but just too high, undo, paste. Good. So we've got the downs, and then we just need on these parts, the ups. So I'm going to do this in a more professional way this time. Because I think I got really lucky on my positions then. And we're going to want to go up three blocks, right? So if we cut, we go one, two, three, paste. Perfect. There. And what side was I on this side? I'm going to try here. Three, paste. No, I need to go up another one. Undo. Up that one. Paste. Okay, so then we can remove these. Now, what we need to do now is put like a little piece of metal, which we'll use the darker grey for. Uh, here. Uh, we'll use the darker grey to join these together. Basically, where we've got the thinnest parts, these parts right here, they will now instead be joined up I can do that yeah it's right but uh, I'm just trying to think of the shape we won't do it in in an egg shape I think they're meant to be in an egg shape but we're not gonna do them in an egg shape so we're gonna have this around here and up there that needs to be forward by one. Oh no. 
because it's going to be thicker. I had another one. Like that. Uh, there. Yeah, see, I'm going to have to trim a little bit of this off. That's a little bit too close for my liking. Uh huh. Take these bits out. And fill all this in. Unfortunately, I've got to fill in both sides because it's only two blocks deep. So I have that. Like there. Ugh. Yeah, perfect. Okay, that works really, really well. So if we copy this there to there. And I don't know really where the best place for me to stand is for this. There isn't really one, is there? Oh, yes, there is. Because they're all going to be the same, aren't they? So if I stand here. Whoops. If I stand here and I copy, we should be able to then stand here and paste. And there. And paste. Good. See how that's all joined up? Now you can sort of see how that would turn. And then we can do a smaller one that just connects these two ends up. So we have this goes up here. Uh, yeah. Like this. We'll fit in this one side first. And then we do another one. Did I delete that one or did I just never place it? That goes here. And obviously the other one should be up. Excellent. Yeah. So that's a that's a proper shape. So we've got that one that goes from the middle down. And this one that goes from the middle up. So we have this one uh, like that. See, we're way, way too close to that. To the top of the metal here. We're going to have to shim some off. Underneath. 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 Take that away so we can't see it. Because we don't want to see that. And then make this one a little bit thicker. Right. Excellent. So. Now therein we can now do the pistons. <laughs> uh, should I shim that off first? Yeah, I should really shim one up. So we can just do this real quick, actually, can't we? We go that one. And we do that one. And we set there. So just shimmed off one. So now we've got a little bit of clearance underneath there. How cool is that? So these pistons now, the ones that are up are obviously going to have the pistons right to the top. The ones that are down need to be down by that amount. However... Because we should be stick. Look, how cool is that? Because we should be building with the mathematical distances, we should only have to build one piston, and then from there it should go quite well. So let's get some numbers here. As far if we if we would do this circle, what I want to do is build a piston down there, and then just copy and paste them in where we need them to be. So that's five blocks. Oh no, we're out of time. No, we're out of time for this episode. I can't. We'll have to do that next episode. How cool is this though? Hey, camshaft is it crankshaft, not camshaft. Crankshaft is in now underneath. Ready for the pistons to go in next episode. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode.